back guys sorry it's been so long but uh turns out because of the pandemic everybody and their freaking mom is building a camper right now so it's kind of hard to find stuff comment down below if you guys are having trouble finding stuff too but after patiently waiting we finally got our windows in and we're gonna go ahead and get the ball rolling today and do some demo on the inside get the panels tore off and, and Let's get it started, yeah. Let's, Let's get, get it started, started. yeah. <laughs> Interior, interior, interior. interior. We got all the interior panels uh, taken off, uh, but I think that's it for today. We're going to start the process of installing the windows uh, probably in a day or two. Uh, yeah. So when we first decided to do this trailer, I, I knew the windows were going to be the worst part of it, and it hurts so much. To see this crap. So when you're cutting the hole out for your window, you might notice that the aluminum is going to want to start jumping on you. And that can be kind of dangerous because your saw can catch uh, the aluminum and dent a part that you're not trying to cut. So a trick is, is to take one of these window suction cups and put it on the wall so that when you're cutting, you can put pressure against the saw to keep it from popping up and down on you. Hey, welcome to Frank's. Frank's, what can I get you? Can I get a hot dog with extra relish? Okay, one time. Oh, is this what you ordered? Oh. All right, so I just got the window hole cut out and put the window through just to see if it fits. But um, the unique problem that we have with the cargo trailers is that um, the aluminum is only like one thirty second of an inch thick. And these windows usually come in and they're supposed to be put into a wall that's like an inch or two inches thick, right? So if you put this mounting ring uh, on here, it has nothing to squeeze the window against. So what I'm doing is instead of using wood like a lot of other people use, I'm going to be using this steel tubing to basically make a frame so that um, the mounting ring has something to press up against. And since I'm cutting out this support, I want something a little bit more rigid. I know a lot of people just use plywood. They'll cut out the stud and they'll just use plywood. That seems kind of sketchy to me. So we're gonna make it beefy. We're gonna beef it up and put some tube steel in there and gonna weld this mother effer in there. Here we go. Maybe I ain't lose no step. I've been trying to catch my breath way too high. Difficult to read these texts. Triple dot all what's next. Can't this way? Why we gotta do this now? Forgetting what it's all about. Can't turn around. Don't know why I came this way. Don't know what else I said. You right, you right. You right, you right. Yeah, yeah. You right, you right. You right, you right. You right, you right. You right, you right. Yeah, yeah. You right, you right. You right, you right. 
go, I'm gone. I don't see no wrong. Driving down Alameda. Man, I hate Alameda. Man, I hope I don't see you. God, I pray I make it. I done seen some things. I done seen in LA. Pardon me if I'm late. Only came for the cake. If it's good, Alright, guys. It's the, uh, it's the end of the day. Um, it's taken longer than I thought because we're like quadruple measuring. So it should probably take you this long too. But um, I got the supports all welded in right here. Uh, I'm not the best welder. I literally bought a Harbor Freight welder and, and learn how to weld for this. So, And basically I used an inch uh, thick for the cross horizontal bars to uh, take some load off the studs. And then the ring is actually gonna attach onto this half inch piece right here. So, yeah. It's super complicated, and it was kind of a pain in the ass, but we got it. All right, y'all, we got the, uh, the window in the hole, and now if we put the mounting ring around the window, pull that in, you can see that the mounting ring is now resting on the half inch tube steel. So when we put the self-tapping screws in, It'll pull everything together and the window should be all stirred up, sturdied, sturdied, sturdied up, <laughs> tightened up, sturdied up. Yeah. What's the word? Um, snug as a bug. Snug as a bug. All right, it's the next day. The window's all put in. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, the tape sticking out, but uh, we're gonna clean that up and we're gonna caulk around the perimeter of it just to make sure there's no leaks. But I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, Kelsey's just inside doing some clean up, but uh, here's a little hint on what the uh, next episode's gonna be about. What? Open the door. And if you guys are having it's going to Do you And we're going to get started and I'm like uh but we finally <laughs> oh. Go. Yeah. Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. Yeah. Why are you laughing right now, Kelsey? Duh. <laughs>